hello and welcome you all to this new video in this today's video i am going to create and deploy a blockchain network using hyperledger fabric sdk for java on ubuntu os operating system so i have give, uh, given these steps on my blog also that we will be following for this uh, particular practical so initial few steps are some prerequisites that we need to install to proceed for installing creating or deploying the blockchain so i have given the commands to check the version and also the command if the uh, particular prerequisite is not installed for this particular practical i will be using oracle virtual box in which i have installed the ubuntu first thing we need to do is uh, go to the root user you can do uh, the following practical with the normal user also but you need to do with the sudo command but it is better to use the root user so first we will check if curl is installed so it is not present so we need to install it and we can do it by using this command apt install curl this command will install the curl in our system to confirm that we can just run this command and it will show you the version current version installed version next thing or next prerequisite that we need is docker we will check the version of docker so docker also is not installed we need to install it so the command for docker is apt install docker.io we need to give a y and we can confirm by checking the version so docker has been installed successfully next thing we need is docker compose so we will use this command to check whether it is installed or not hyphen hyphen version so docker compose also we need to install it we can do that by using this command so you can see the suggestions over here also y for confirmation we will reconfirm it by checking the current version of docker compose so it has specified the version that means it has been installed successfully next thing we will check is go if go is installed on our os so command go not found so we need to install go the command for installing go is apt install golang.go using this golang hyphen go sorry y for confirmation again in few sections i have sped up the video so that uh, the unnecessary details will get skipped you can check the version of go using go version command so go has been successfully installed next prerequisite will be node.js we will check with node my hyphen v command or minus v command so we need to install node.js to apt install node.js will do the work y for continuing so we'll confirm with the version command so node has been installed i will just adjust the screen over here so node has been installed next uh, we will check whether npm 
is present in our system or not npm hyphen hyphen version npm also needs to be installed apt install npm why for confirmation we will confirm it by checking the version next prerequisite that we need is going to be git we will check it using git version command git hyphen hyphen version so git is already present in the system next thing we need to check if python is present in our system we will again type in python 3 hyphen hyphen version so python also is there in our system so we are done with the prerequisites that we need for this practical next thing we need is to configure some properties of git we will be using these two commands to configure the git git config hyphen hyphen global dot auto clrf core dot auto clrf crlf and we will set it to false next we will run this second command again to configure git long paths true once this configuration of git is done we need to create a new directory for our project using the mkdir command we will create a new directory you can name it anything and we need to go in that directory we will change directory to that new folder or new directory once we create and change the directory we now need to clone the repository in that particular directory that we have created using this command so i am now in the directory that i have created here i will clone the repository using curl U-I-S-B-O-F-E O-F-E-R capital bash minus s 1.4.4 so this will start the cloning of the repository in our my blockchain folder depending on your internet speed uh, this process may vary the time it will install hyperledger fabric images on your system so once this is done once these commands get executed you can see different images being done on our PC, done on our operating system. So we can, once we ch clone the repository, we need to check whether fabric samples directory has been created. So we will do the ls command. So fabric samples has been created. We need to change in that directory. And in fabric samples, we will have first network. So we will change the directory to the first network. So once you are in the first network directory, we need to list out the contents or the files using ls or ll command. 
once you list out the files in the first network directory you can see byfn.sh which stands for build your first network which is required for our practical so first thing we need to generate the certificates and genesis block we will be using this command dot slash vyfn dot sh space generate this command will generate the certificates and genesis block for our blockchain network you just need to simply give y so this will generate the certificates generate the genesis block create a channel create organization 1 msp organization 2 msp so once we create the generate the certificates and genesis block we can build our first network using this particular command so i have used the option minus l java because i am giving this uh, example for sdk for java you can implement it just by using or without using the java option you can simply go to byfn dot dot slash byfn dot slash byfn dot sh up this command will work fine but i will just put in here minus l java and click enter this will start the channel that was created previously we need to specify y over here this will start building our first network so you can see your channel created then over here peers are, are being created two peers are for organization one and two peers are for organization two chain code is being installed on the peers this also may take some time this command so the command has been executed successfully chain code is installed chain code is instantiated query successful on pr0 invoke transaction successful all good byfn execution completed so if you get this output where you see the start and end that means that your network has been built and deployed successfully so once the building and deploying has been done now we need to down the network so we can down the network using this command we need to simply specify down instead of up byfn.sh space down this will down the network that we have started in the previous command so this will stop all the peers or the everything that we have started using the up command so this is it this is a practical where we created and deployed a blockchain network using hyperledger fabric for java on ubuntu operating system you can follow these particular steps and also follow the steps using the video also i will post the link to this blog in the comment section down below you can check that out i have also created the blog for installing hyperledger fabric on windows 10 you can follow the steps provided in that or also you can find the video for particular practical on my channel over here you can follow that too
and also i have posted videos and blogs about practicals related to iot as well as robotics if you find or if you need to watch them you can definitely go check them out